Hello, my name is Austin Crow. I am a systems engineer with Agility Communications Group. I want to thank you for joining me today. We're going to spend some time discussing the setup and the use of Avaya Spaces. We'll go ahead and get started. To let you know, Avaya Spaces runs in a browser. There are no downloads required to your computer. You simply browse to the Avaya URL, spaces.aviacloud.com, and you'll enter your email. Upon entering your email, Avaya will let you know whether or not your account currently exists. If it does not, you can click on Yes to sign up. A confirmation email from Avaya Spaces will be sent. Once received, open the email and click on Confirm to enable your Avaya Cloud account. Now you are ready to set up your account from My Account where you can begin by locating and uploading your own photo. Next, you can enter your first name, last name, and password. You will re-enter your password again and click on Create Account. Click Accept on the Terms of Use for Avaya Spaces page and you will then be taken to the dashboard. You can see that helpful tips are available the first time you log into Avaya Spaces. You can take a tour of Avaya Spaces before you begin, or skip and view it later. Access to Common Spaces features is provided by a few quick access icons located at the top of your space window. Click on the notification icon to toggle between disabling and enabling pop-up notifications for this space. You can click on the copy link icon to copy the link to your space meeting. The link can then be pasted onto an email or another chat system and sent as an invite for others to join the meeting. The join by phone icon provides the dial-in information which allows participants who do not have access to spaces via the web or mobile app to also be able to join the meeting using a phone. Click on the copy dial-in info button and paste the details into an email to send to participants joining the meeting by phone. Click on close. You can click on the favorite icons to add any space to your favorites list. You can then click on the favorite icon next to recent spaces on the left to display a list of your favorite spaces. And finally, to pair a conference room camera to your space, click on the Join Spaces Room icon. Enter the conference room camera verification code number, which will be found on the room system setup screen, and then you can click Connect. And the room camera is now paired to your space. The User Preferences menu allows you to enable notifications to your spaces, set your space's color theme, re-enable start tutorial, and other general settings. The following options apply to all of your spaces. From your dashboard, click on Preferences. By default, the pop-up notifications for new messages received across all of your spaces is going to be enabled. You can click on the Disable All Notifications toggle to stop receiving pop-up notifications. You can also toggle Play Sound Notifications to disable or enable playing a tone on all notifications received. The theme option will let you select the color scheme for displaying the space's interface, either blue, orange, or black. The Show Tips on Startup allows you to re-enable the brief tutorials when you next log into Spaces. Under Conference Details, you can have your video meetings start automatically each time you access your Spaces. You can also block your camera and mute your microphone when joining any meeting. Click on the X in the top right corner to exit User Preferences and return to the dashboard. Use your personal meeting room to host ad hoc meetings in Avaya Spaces. You can also collaborate in real time without leaving a history of any of your conversations. To start an ad hoc meeting, click on My Meeting Room and start a video call. You can click the Invite People button to invite your team members or guests to the ad hoc meeting. 
you can copy the link of your meeting to your clipboard, create a new email message, and simply paste in the link to the body of the message. Or you can simply search for the name of the person you would like to add. Please note that the only category assigned to those invited to your personal space is Guest. If the participant is outside of your company domain, just simply type in their email address. Once the invitations have been accepted, the participants can join the conference. A list of current participants is shown under People. Additionally, messages and files can be shared via chat. You can click Exit Full Screen to get better access to messages. Please note that all posts and tasks are hidden from the participants in your personal room. To end the meeting, simply hang up and then click Yes to confirm the action. You can have your meeting start whenever you access your personal space. Select the drop menu next to the highlighted personal meeting room and click on Edit Space. Under General and Preferences, enable Auto Start My Meeting Room and click on Close. The next time you access your personal meeting space, the meeting will start automatically. You can create a space to organize your ongoing team collaborations and to host one-off meetings. To create a space, click on the New Space button and simply type the name of your space. You can invite team members by entering their name and selecting from the list. Assign one of the three categories to each invitee, either administrator, member, or guest. To invite people from outside your organization, simply type in their email address. Once the invitations have been accepted, participants can go ahead and access the space. Participants assigned as an administrator or member will have access to the chat, posts, tasks, and meetings, and will have access to all historic postings. You can see a list of the participants connected to the space. It shows their online status to the space and their category admin, member, or guest. Click on the three dots next to a name to remove a participant from the space or to reassign their category. Participants assigned as guest will only have access to real-time chat. All historical postings are hidden from view. Video conferencing is available across all of Avaya spaces. You can schedule in advance or you can invite attendees as needed. To start a video from within a space, click on the Start Video camera icon. Once your invitees have joined the meeting, they will show up with their videos in the main area of the space. The people list on the right side shows all members of the space and those who have joined the video call are marked with a camera and microphone icon. A speaker icon indicates that the person is speaking. Participants who have joined the call via the audio link are indicated by a telephone icon. Chat is available during the meeting to post messages and share documents. Please note that all posts to the chat channel will also be visible to members of this space who may not be attending this meeting. You can click on Exit Full Screen in order to access chat, posts, and tasks. The video call will now move into the upper right-hand corner of your space. From that window, you can choose to share your screen, You can enable and disable your camera and microphone. Click on More Options to change your device settings or to start and stop recordings of your meetings. In order to end your call, simply click on Hang Up and then select Yes to confirm the action. You can use the Avaya Spaces Outlook add-on to schedule Avaya Spaces meetings directly from Outlook. To install the Spaces add-on for Outlook, click on Downloads from your dashboard. 
Scroll down the page until you find the Avaya Spaces Outlook add-on and click Download. Save the file to your hard drive and double click the file to install the add-on. After installing, open Outlook. Select File and then Options. Select Add-ins and select the Avaya Meeting Scheduler. Select Go. From the list, find Avaya Meeting Scheduler and ensure that the checkbox is enabled. Click the box to enable the add-on and select OK. To use the Avaya Spaces add-on, schedule an event in Outlook as you normally would. You will find the Meeting Details icon at the top of the window. Click the icon to hold the meeting within Avaya Spaces or Avaya Conferencing. If you've not already done so, you will be prompted to enter your credentials for Spaces. Enter your email address and click Next. To sign in, enter your email address and password and click Sign In from the Avaya Access Portal. Select the appropriate space where you will host your event and click Add Details at the bottom. An invitation email will be generated. The message contains a link to join your meeting, the space's ID and password if configured, as well as a list of telephone numbers for those who do not have access to spaces. Choose your invitees by inputting their email address, as well as the date and time of the meeting. The email will be delivered to everyone invited to the event. The email will look similar to what you see on your screen. Invitees will need to only click on the link in order to be taken into the Avaya Space meeting. I want to thank you once again for joining us today. This has been a training session regarding Avaya Spaces, the setup and the use of a wonderful platform filled with many features. If you have any questions or concerns, please find us at our website at agilitycg.com and let us know how we can help.